Hello folks, this is Mark Armitage coming to you from my electron microscopy laboratory. I wanted to give you an update on uh, several points about the soft tissues and dinosaur bones. Incidentally, uh, this is a piece of a triceratops skull. Uh, you can see it's very large, it's also very heavy. And I think, uh, I think this is the pituitary right here. Uh, we're not sure yet, but uh, we're hoping to have this piece of skull analyzed. But uh, the work in soft uh, dinosaur cells continues. But uh, we started soft serve dinosaur because there are folks out there who don't know that there are soft tissues in dinosaur remains and they're being lied to. Uh, these dinosaur remains that we're finding uh, have soft tissues in them. They have soft cells in them. Cells that look alive. And uh, people don't know this. They're being lied to by the evolutionists and people need to know. They need to know the truth about these tissues. You see, if dinosaur remains in the fossil record have soft cells in them that look alive, uh, then they can't be old. They can't possibly be old uh, if they have these kind of cells in them. Uh, the deposits that they're found in, uh, which are given various names in the geologic column, they can't be old. Uh, they can't be more than 10,000, 20,000 years maximum because of the, these cells. These cells actually look alive and they have submicroscopic, they have nanoscopic features that are still in place. In fact, some PhDs have come up to me after my presentations and have said, I'd like to collaborate with you on trying to culture these cells. Uh, let's see if we can get them to grow, which is astounding to me. So if, if these deposits are young, these deposits that have these uh, dinosaur remains in them that are not fossilized, that have soft tissues in them, if the deposits are young, then the earth is young, the earth must be young. And of course if the earth is young, uh, the so-called fairy tale of Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden and uh, God being creator becomes reality. That becomes a picture of true history and so evolutionism becomes the fairy tale. And I like to call evolutionism a fairy tale for grown-ups. It becomes untrue and it becomes not real history. So those two get re reversed. Now, if Adam and Eve are part of real history, then we are their living descendants. We are actually children uh, of Adam and Eve. Uh, we're related to them. And God is our ruler because God made them. God made the garden. God made everything the way it's described in the book of Genesis. And so we're related to them. And God is ruler. And if, if God is ruler and if he is creator, then we need to get right with him. Don't we? People need to get right with God if he is in fact the creator and the ruler of all mankind. And so we need Jesus. We need Jesus and we need his death on the cross which was a substitutionary death in our place. We need him to get right with God. And so soft dinosaur cells are really about the gospel, you see? Because they talk about, they speak to us of, of a young earth, of a young cosmos, of a young creation, of the reality of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and all of the history recorded in the, in the book of Genesis, and all of the Bible, that book leads us to the cross. It leads us to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so if soft dinosaur cells are young, and that's what we're postulating, then it's really about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so our ministry, Soft Serve Dinosaur, is about the gospel. We want to preach the gospel uh, to the lost that are out there, that are being lied to about evolution in millions and billions of years. Now, it's come to my attention that a lot of the big creation organization, uh, organizations or ministries, as they like to be known, these ministries are selling soft dinosaur cells and tissues for profit. Now, that's not right. You know, we have an example of Paul in Scripture of giving away the gospel. Paul traveled. Paul, Paul wrote over 50% of the New Testament. He was converted from being a murderous a uh, Jew named Saul into a God-fearing, Gentile-loving and Jew-loving Christian named Paul. And he gave the gospel away. In fact, 
He gave us a precedent in Scripture that we should follow. He had a tent-making occupation. And that's how he paid for his bills. That's how he supported himself. He didn't start a ministry and take money from the little widows uh, to support himself. Any money he received, he gave away to poor Christians. And so we have an example in Scripture to have a tent-making occupation. And that's what we at Soft Serve Dinosaur have. We have a microscope sales and service company. And that's how we pay for our bills. That's how we support ourselves. And we're giving away the ministry of soft tissue and dinosaur bones and other things under the microscope that prove the Bible to be true. And so we need to be careful. If we're going to call ourselves a ministry, like so many of these big creation groups do, we shouldn't be earning a living by preaching the gospel. The gospel should be free. It should be preached freely. It should be given away. And dinosaur soft tissues should be given away not sold in conferences, not sold in DVDs or books, but given away. The reason we produce the videos that we do and put them up online, and I'll show you one here, we produce these videos of soft tissues and dinosaur bone. We show these beautiful cells because this needs to be given away to people, not sold to people in videos and conferences and DVDs, although we do offer some of that material but we put it all up online, we give it away, because this is about souls, people. This is about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's what ministries are supposed to do, to preach the gospel, to give it away freely, and not earn a living based on these things that prove that the Bible is true.